Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, today welcome to a brand new video. As you guys might have noticed by the camera angle, everything that's going on, yes, I've stolen Bald and Bankrupt's camera. There are gonna be no more videos on this channel because I've stolen this camera setup. He doesn't have a camera, has nothing to record videos with anymore. Anyway, today guys, um, I'm here with my friend Alexander. You might remember him from uh, a trip we took with Bald and Bankrupt to Karabash, uh, the Russian uh, post-apocalyptic city. He's not gonna say a word in this video either. <laughs> Basically, today is a great spring day in Russia um, and the drip I mean Bolden Bankrupt was talking about drip a, a, a while ago this is drip okay literally water is just dripping on top of us it's like it's raining I don't even know if my camera is safe to be honest <laughs> but this is what happens in Russia when uh, the snow starts melting you also need to walk and watch out for uh, icicles that can drop in uh, on your head and kill you so we're definitely gonna do that today basically today i just wanted to wander with my friend alexander he invited me out for a nice walk test out my camera a little bit and uh, check out what it's like uh, in a regular russian city once uh, the snow starts melting and the streets turn into hell and slush <laughs> all right let's get into it yeah essentially this is what you have to do walking outside Walking outside in Russia in this sort of periods when the snow's melting is kind of like playing a giant game of hopscotch. And actually we're coming up to a very nice little place here. <laughs> Literally cars are swimming. Uh, who needs the outdoors, you know? Uh, the Chelyabinsk city, the region, is pretty well known for being a region full of lakes, you know? But uh, you don't even need to get out of the city, really, to... Uh, <laughs> take a nice swim and also the scariest thing is that uh, we're definitely gonna okay yeah this is this is also I think let's just let's just get the fuck out of here <laughs> let's just get out of here this is one of the scariest parts as well about being outside and walking in such weather is that uh whenever you're passing by by a uh, by a lake somebody you know somebody sometimes people just wake up and they want to be pricks about it so they could literally drive on high speed through this entire lake and your entire body all of your nice clothes your entire drip will be covered in this it's not a it's not a nice sight this happened to me multiple times as well it ruins your day but what can you do <laughs> no compassion for no compassion for the fellow man You know, guys, some people complain about the lack of drinking fountains in, uh, <laughs> in, uh, in Russian cities. Well, there you go. If you really want to, if you're really thirsty, you know, they really think of people. Just uh, go ahead, take a nice little drink. I'm not going to do it, but uh, it would be funny. <laughs> you know, guys, just laugh at the idea of me doing it. I'm not actually going to do it. I'm not insane. This building we're in front of right now is actually one of the examples of pre-Soviet uh, old Russian architecture in Chelyabinsk. So this is a... Uh, I'll put a subtitle. I don't know what it's in English, okay? This building is from 1911, actually, and it was actually featured apparently in some uh, foreign movies as well. For example, there's a, there was some sort of French uh, documentary about Russia of that time, and you could see that building in it. When Chelyabinsk, you know, we didn't have any of this, didn't have any of the Soviet goodness. It was, uh, you know, Tsarist Russia, uh, but they already had that building. Pretty nice, you know, you never really see nice pieces of authentic architecture like this. Uh, not a lot of them, at least, in our city. <laughs> Alexander is risking his life for the video. He's literally risking his life. <laughs> this is uh, something we used to do as kids, to be honest. Uh, is that whenever the season like this hit, um, you would climb these uh, snow... Fuck! Chokak. <laughs> he's not gonna say a word. Yeah, he's already given a vow that he's not gonna say a single word in this video. I like that. He's he's uh, he's sticking to his word. Now let's try and uh, descend. That was good enough. That was good enough. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, our city is a little nice ice rink. Uh, <laughs> You know, again, by the way, you can see right there, it's the ice uh, that falls on top of people's heads. Be very, very careful with that. This is one of my favorite spots in the city because it's a beautiful example of a Chelyabinsk sidewalk. A giant parking lot that's like, that can house like, what, 300 cars? Another parking lot right here because this one's clearly not enough. And this, this right here is where you're supposed to sort of walk. It's, it's really nice. Although, for example, 
you know, there's been situations where I was like walking with like a, a female right here, you know, if you want to hold hands, uh, let's do it, just a demonstration. Okay, <laughs> do it. Just as a demonstration, it's very hard to fit in, as you see, because of all the uh, vehicles. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, that was, that, was just, that was just very dangerous to do, by the way. <laughs> Two men holding hands in the center of a Russian city. Ris literally risking our lives for the content. But that was just purely for demonstration, you guys. <laughs> okay, something just happened off camera. Alexander nearly died because, uh, you know, beautiful manholes in Chelyabinsk, you know, it's kind of like New York uh, sewage system. It's very similar. And uh, he literally just stepped on the manhole, which literally was open. So, uh, this is the hard life in Russia. Keep your eyes open for Gopniks, for open manholes. You never know what's gonna happen. Just keep those eyes open and don't, don't slip. <laughs> this is how we do it. I'm actually finding out new things because here's the thing. When, you, when I'm just walking down the street here in Chilebinsk as a citizen, I don't really look at stuff. I don't really pay attention to anything. When, I, you, when you're a vlogger, you're trying to desperately to get any sort of content. And actually here, right here on these columns in the back of me on this building, uh, these are lights that light up the columns sort of and they actually have the Soviet uh, coat of arms on it. I've never noticed that. Yeah guys, this is a this is the tough life in Chilebinsk. Nice monument, but uh, we just make sure to put a giant fence and a gate in front of it so nobody can actually come to the monuments and check it out in any way. That's perfect logic to me. <laughs> See, you know, tough Russian life, kids are playing football on the snow. <laughs> I guess this is why Russia is not as good as Brazil at football, probably. <laughs> Very nice. Center of the city, by the way, you guys. What is this, Detroit? <laughs> Bottles of alcohol, you know, random bags. Probably a few condoms somewhere in here. <laughs> Another bottle of alcohol. Wow, people party hard in this place. I wonder, where does this stuff even come from? Are people for like, li they're literally just so lazy that they throw, you know, down with a vodka bottle. Ah, oh, it's, it's winter anyway, I'm gonna throw it out on the streets, into the snow. It's not even gonna break, it's gonna be fine. Is that what's going on here? Well, there you go, guys. We're in a, uh, I'm continuing bold and bankrupt's hunt for Soviet mosaics. Uh, and this one right here, again, another mosaic, by the way, the, the hunt continues. <laughs> so actually you can see this mosaic represents the Bashkir and Tatar people. Actually, I think there's some writings in Arabic, which are, I guess are probably something, some kind of a Muslim text or something like that. Pretty nice, you know. Uh, it's a nice little flavor. Uh, not just a regular Soviet mosaic, but also uh, has some Muslim writings on it. There you go, the Soviets were very, very inclusive. <laughs> There you go, another beautiful example of a Chilebinsk sidewalk. This isn't actually, this one isn't particularly bad. You know, you can see there's kind of a way to walk through here, but sometimes, you know, you gotta encounter, you encounter places that are way worse. But you know, this time, I think we're lucky enough to get a good crossing out here. But this is what it's like, you know, to traverse the, uh, the streets of Chilebinsk, the sidewalk of Chilebinsk in these, in these trying times. We found the most icy staircase, <laughs> the most dangerous staircase in the history of humanity. It's like ascending the Everest, the Mount Everest or something. You know, this is where they filmed Joker when he was dancing on the stairs. <laughs> this is him. No, it's good. Oh, for God's sake. A little bit of dramatization to make the uh, these hopscotch games a bit more uh, entertaining for you guys. You know, guys, again, great, uh, some great old uh, Soviet buildings right here, but uh, you guys forgot that we live in a prison. Everything's locked up. You know, this is actually a uh, kindergarten right here, and you know, they teach kids to live in a. Uh, you know, this is like you know the. Uh, the cages, they, the ice uh, in America keeps kids in, you know, the immigrant kids. <laughs> in Russia, they're keeping kids in the cages too. Why is nobody talking about this? Come on, man. 
Ridiculous. I mean, why do you have to cover everything in these gates? What's gonna happen? Like, what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Here's another a good example. A very common practice again in Russia. What they do is that you can see, you know, a whole bunch of dog shit right here. And here we have like a luxury sort of, uh, you know, apartment building that's supposed to be, you know, higher upper class or whatever. And they, again, put a giant gate in front of us so that, you know, simple folk like us cannot go through. Little do they know, <laughs> We're making billions, we're making bands on this bullshit, but... <laughs> I don't know where in the absolute hell Alexander has brought me, but uh, there's a whole bunch of abandoned stuff here. <laughs> you know, guys... Uh, we all like abandoned stuff, but I've not really reached Bold and Bankrupt's confidence level yet to walk in. Uh, <laughs> it also smells like human piss, so... Uh, it's also really funny to me, the juxtaposition of it, I guess. Where you have a sort of bougie apartment uh, building that they've built right here. Some uh, old-school Soviet stuff right here. And uh, literally some abandoned shack where people get killed <laughs> right here. Or doing drug trades. I have no clue, man. Uh, what a place. What a place to live in. I love Chidabinsk. City of contrasts. На одной стороне едет Порш, на другой лежит бомж. If you guys notice any weird sounds being uh, uttered in the background of me trying to film B-roll for this video is because literally, you know, I'm stepping on ice and almost falling over almost every three seconds. So we found some weird ass tower for no reason in the sense uh, of this uh, of this of this na neighborhood and uh, also <laughs> the sun. <sighs> Isn't this beautiful you guys? Again, what is this? Detroit? What is this? And I know I know what the comments are gonna be saying. The comments are, the comments are gonna be saying, Oh Roman, why did you know why did you show the nice parts of Chilebis? That's boring. Who wants to see that, right? I've never been in this place myself, so it's actually very interesting for me. I'm traveling inside my own city. If I just film the most basic sites, I've, I've shown that in the, the first video we did with Bob and Bankrupt, you know? I want to see the need, I want to see the grit. I want to see the real truth. That's what I'm, that's what I'm here for, okay? Rock journal journalism, Hunter Thompson, you know? So these right here apparently are actually residential buildings. Uh, it may not really look like it, but there's actually quite a lot of places, not in the center of the city, where we have these old buildings right here, uh, two-story sort of. Um, these are again Soviet as well, but it's before they kind of started building commie blocks. Uh, they usually used to build buildings like this, and there's actually a ton of these in the city. All of these are still, you know, people still live in them, but uh, you have those in the center as well. You just have to get really, really down into the hoods. And there you go. This one actually looks kind of nice. This balcony looks decent, I think. And uh, you can see those icicles on the top. Watch out for those, because if one of those falls on your head, you're dead. This is what's pretty annoying about the city uh, center, I'd say right now in our, in, our, in our town, is that you'll be walking and uh, you know, you're in some like authentic place, you know, where they're growing weed right there in the purple lights, I assume. <laughs> you know, some authentic old buildings, but then you usually run into like a gate and that's it. Your journey is over. Turn around and, uh, you know, get out of here, you peasants. So this building right here is pretty, I'm pretty sure this one is abandoned uh, because there's actually no roof on top of you there, you can see. Again, another sort of Soviet Soviet sign right here says, oh, okay, so this actually used to be a municipal sort of building uh, belonging to like the uh, the management of this like uh, region of the city and this neighborhood of the city or whatever. Now it's a complete, you know. And uh, also one thing that's funny, which I know, which we noticed is that for some reason there's a toilet <laughs> standing outside. No explanation. You know, guys, again, beautiful sidewalks, sensor Chilebinsk, love it, love it. You see, I'm already completely, you know, I'm covered in shit from top to bottom. Because we've been struggling, you know, through these streets, 
to these puddles and everything to make content for you guys. So uh, the good drip has to suffer for the content. The content is key. It's the number one thing. I do this all for you guys. Guys, I just, I feel, I feel so, uh, <laughs> what is this? You know, what if I walk and I, I uh, might get stuck on this and my entire scalp comes fl flying off? What is this? <laughs> the Chelyabinsk streets are not safe for tall people. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are right now, we're literally on a street called Soviet, Sovietska ulitsa. Literally the most Soviet street in Chelyabinsk and I think it's about time we finish up this video. It's getting pretty late, we just had a nice meal at Burger King. <laughs> With my man, with my man Alexander. Uh, so, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to slap the like on it as well, guys. Make sure to show pretty good community on Instagram. Или нет? Follow Alexander's Instagram. Yes, uh, Sasha Santechnik, greatest Instagram handle of all time. Yeah, guys, that's basically going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. You know, smash like, support my Patreon, buy my YouTube's, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.